Donald Trump has announced that he will be dissolving his charitable foundation. The president-elect says it's to try and avoid any conflicts of interest with his presidency. The Trump Foundation has been under investigation by New York's Attorney General since September. That's over suspected impropriety. U.S. media says that the foundation's under scrutiny over a donation it made to a group backing a Republican politician back in 2013. Well, Mr. Trump has released a statement and it says that the foundation has done enormous good works over the years in contributing millions of dollars to countless worthy groups, including supporting veterans, law enforcement officers and children. However, to avoid even the appearance of any conflict with my role as president, I've decided to continue to pursue my strong interest in philanthropy in other ways. Well, Lynn Sweet is a journalist for the Chicago Sun-Times based in Washington. I spoke to her a while ago and I asked her about the foundation and why the president-elect decided to close it. This has been a big controversy uh, triggered by stories in the Washington Post that at the bottom line here is that Donald Trump does not give any of his own money to the foundation. He has not given any of his own money between 2009 and 2014. So at the heart of this is a foundation that goes to other people to ask for money. Uh, then there's another set of uh, controversies, and this is what the attorney general in New York is looking at, is whether or not they're self-dealing. You're not supposed to use a nonprofit uh, foundation in the United States to make political contributions or to help your business. That's at the heart of it. Okay, so how is it going to work? He says it's closing it down. The attorney general says, well, he can't whilst they're still investigating. Well, both can be right. Uh, Donald Trump can say he's not going to raise any more money. He could say that he's filing paperwork to close it down, but that doesn't wipe the slate clean. The attorney general for the state of New York can still continue to investigate it. And how damaging is this for Donald Trump, or does it not matter in terms of his presidency? Well, one of the things that we've learned in this very historic campaign that is leading to the presidency of Donald Trump is that nothing seems to hurt him. Controversies that would take out other political figures in the United States didn't have any impact on him, and he ended up getting elected and will be sworn in January 20th. So I think uh, this foundation uh, controversy is one of many dealings with his conflict of interest issues that have not been resolved. And by that, I mean his complex web of businesses that he has yet to tell anyone how he is going to divorce himself from the family business before he becomes president. Journalist Lynn Sweet there.